Hello, this is Spartan Commander, and this is the 873rd Rome Total War Brotherhood game that I've put onto YouTube. Just to say, um, the regular viewers of our channel will know I rarely put on a 2v2 battle. Um, in fact, I think out of 873 battles, there's only about three 2v2 battles ever been put on. So for a 2v2 to be put on, it must be either a very special game or a very unusual game. And just to say this is a very unusual game because this is what I call a hybrid game. Now what I mean by a hybrid game is uh, you will see that all four players in this battle bring CWB armies, Clan War Belt armies, okay, which are usually played at 15k. Uh, but this is a 31k battle and as I say you'll see that all the players have bought CWB armies so this is like I said a hybrid battle where both the codes CWB and 31k are being merged in this battle and as I say as you watch this battle you'll see what I mean it's uh, when I watched it I found it very very unusual here plus it is a very rare clan v clan battle as well this is the Titans clan against the Brotherhood clan here. But, um, so that's unusual in itself, isn't it, to get a clan v clan battle these days. But this, as I say, is a hybrid battle where you'll see that CWB and 31K have really merged in this battle. And I think you'll find it quite interesting. Okay, so... Um, the first Brotherhood teammate is Brotherhood member Earth. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that name, so I'll just tell you who it is. It's Brotherhood member Earth, and he's got six infantry, eight archers, and six cavalry. Okay, a typical, if I remember correctly, CWB um, army there, would you say? I haven't played CWB for many years, but that's what I re remember there. He's got gold shield, gold attack on his infantry. And I think if I remember right, I would think he's probably got very good, yeah, good cavalry there. Look, if you count the upgrades, fully upgraded, three experience stripes, gold shield, gold attack, um, Praetorian cavalry there. So that takes him out of the elite bracket into the super cavalry bracket. But as you can see there, if I remember correctly from playing CWB many, many years ago, that is a CWB-ish army there, isn't it? Um, small amount of infantry, a lot of archers, and well upgraded cavalry. As I say, it's a CWB army that's usually played at 15k, but it's a CWB army played at 31k in this battle. So as I say, this is a real hybrid battle here, which, um, as I say, is very, very unusual, I think. Um, the next uh, Brotherhood member teammate is Brotherhood member Eth Eth. Now he's got eight infantry, six archers, and six cavalry. Okay, eight infantry, six archers, and six cavalry. Quick look at the upgrades on his infantry. I'm thinking probably Jesse Yep, just gold shield, gold attack on his infantry there. And yep, fully upgraded cavalry, three experience stripes, gold shield, gold attack there. So let's say two CWB-esque armies there being played at 31k. As I say, very, very rare for me to put a 2v2 on our um, channel here, but uh, unless it's a very special battle or a very unusual battle. And let's say with the merging of the two codes of CWB and 31k in this battle, I thought this is a very unusual battle for you to watch, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Be interesting to see what the uh, other team armies are. Uh, which we'll see in just a minute. And here is the other team. We have Titans Baldwin. Now, Titans Baldwin have got eight infantry, six archers, and six cavalry. Okay, eight infantry, six archers, six cavalry. Once again, um, I think this is a, a CWB army here. Quickly, the upgrades, I'm just thinking gold shield, gold attack, yeah, on his infantry. And I'm thinking probably a maxed cavalry not sure let's have a look and see uh one two three yeah maximum upgraded praetorian cavalry there three experience stripes gold shield gold attack so eight infantry six archers six cavalry there as i say i haven't played cwb for many many years but the faint memory that i have got these are cwb armies from both teams so far their next teammate is titan's punisher now he's got eight archers six infantry and six cavalry Okay, eight archers, six infantry, and six cavalry. Quick look at the upgrades on his infantry. I'm thinking probably once again, just gold shield, gold attack. Yeah, 
and I'm thinking probably maxed cavalry again. Yep, there we go. Three experienced stripes, gold shield, gold attack on his cavalry. So there you go. And very, very much um, alike, aren't they, the armies there? I think um, by both teams, both CWB armies there. And as I say, I think um, this is very, very unusual to see this particular um, kind of battle here, where it's just a 2v2, but all the, the teammates, all the participants in this battle have bought CWB-esque armies, if you like, um, being played at 31k. And I was just thinking, you know, like, um, just look at the width of the, uh, the battle formations as well. I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, nearly the whole width of the battlefield was used up in this um, particular battle there. You can see, now if this was a 31K battle with normal armies, 14 infantry and six cavalry, they'd be side by side there, wouldn't they? With their cavalry in behind them there, okay? And it would be a real slog. But remember, the, the bog standard 31K Roman army is 14 infantry and six cavalry. And if both teams had bought a bog, bog standard 31K Roman army, they'd be playing in, in a very small part of the battlefield here, wouldn't they? Instead of being extending from one red line to the other here. That's another difference. Okay, at this stage of the battle, I just thought I'd let you know that there's a spectator to this battle who might not be who he seems. Okay, now if you look at the name here, can you see that it says Spark? Okay, but do you notice anything there? Now in the Brotherhood, we've got a member called Spark, but of course, if that was Brotherhood member Spark, he would be wearing his tags. Well, this particular spark is not wearing his tags, so I'm wondering whether this is an imposter who's come onto RTW using Spark's name, and the team have thought that it is Spark, instead of checking and looking to see that he's not wearing his Brotherhood tags. So I'm going to put a question mark over this spectator. Okay, at this stage of the battle, I thought you might find this interesting. Can you see how both armies are kind of, all, both teams are using the full width of the battlefield here. You can see the red line on this side of the battlefield there. And I think if we went right the way over to the other side of the battlefield, I think you'll find that the teams are not too far away from the red line on the other side of the battlefield. I mean, that's, I mean, that's quite surprising, isn't it? I know, like we talked about, this is a hybrid battle, um, CWB being played at 31K, but just look, they're using basically nearly the whole width of the battlefield here for a 2v2. I mean, that's, you know, in itself is quite unusual, isn't it? As I say, if it was a, a bog standard 31k Roman versus Rome battle here, they would just be fighting probably in the middle of the battlefield. So as you can see with these CWB armies, how they stretch right across from one side to the other of the battlefield. Okay, at this very, very early stage of the battle there, you'll see, I think, it's Titan's Punisher moving his army towards Earth's SBQR army there. Remember, the Brotherhood team are the SBQR, the purple SBQR, and the Titan's team are the green Brutii there. Okay, so that's, um, it's quite easy to follow this battle when you just look at the colours, isn't it, I think. But here you'll see that Earth is moving his SBQR army back away from Punisher's army there. As we know, um, Earth, very good tactician on a Rome Total War. He may well be pulling back, trying to draw Punisher's army forward there. As I say, in this um, CWB uh, kind of 31K hybrid battle, um, there's a big archer battle going on here between the, uh, the two teams. As we saw in their army builds, both teams bought a heck of a lot of archers here. And as you can see, before the main kind of infantry and cavalry on infantry and cavalry battle goes ahead, it's very much an archer battle here, as you can see. As I say, it's very, very rare to, I think, to see a 2v2 hybrid battle like this where both the 31K and CWB codes are merging. You'll see a lot of CWB tactics in this battle, but you'll also see 31K skirmishing as well. And just look, they're fighting from one red line to the other here, look, right the way, the full width of the battlefield. You'll see Baldwin there, Titus Baldwin, pulling his army back um, from Eth's army there. 
be interest, interesting to see if the two teams, bearing in mind they're fighting on the full width of the battlefield, if they actually team up or whether they kind of do 1v1 battles, if you see what I mean. It'll be interesting to see uh, the tactics and strategy. As I say, I believe that uh, there are CWB tactics and 31k skirmishing tactics in this battle. So as I say, a real merging of the codes in this very unusual battle here. You see Punisher's army all the way over here, a long way away from his alloy. But then you'll see Earth has got units over here as well. A long way from his alloys as well. As I say, making the most of the full width of the battlefield here for a 2v2, um, kind of to me, is very, very unusual. But then again, I haven't played CWB for many, many years, so um, I've only got a faint memory of it, to be honest with you. There's a line of dead SBQR archers there. You can see, as I say, it's uh, it's an archer war first. Many, many years ago, at the beginning of Rome Total War, um, when we used to bring our armies, like very often we used to do um, an archer battle before we got into the main battle. So it kind of takes me back a little bit seeing these archer battles here. As I say, before the infantry and cavalry start to um, rock and roll, if you like, it's the uh, it's the archer battle first, and a very spread out battle as as we've seen here. So it uh, should be very interesting to watch the different tactics in this battle. At this stage of the battle, you'll see here a lot of movement going on, if you like, all over the battlefield here. Nice move here by Earth with his cavalry. Notice his cavalry in wide formation there to hoover up the archers a little bit easier. There, as you can see, that he's trying to take out the, uh, the enemy Brutii um, archer units there. You can see he took out one unit there. Nice fast move there by um, Earth. But uh, you can see that uh, there's still a lot of archer units left here in this battle. You'll notice this unit here has been reduced by archer fire coming in on its flank. And you see, remember that's an 82 man unit there. has been reduced now by um, archer fire coming in on his flank there. So it's just not, it's, it's not just archer against archer here. There you can see here, I think Punisher putting this unit into Testudo. Those of you that might not have seen a unit put into Testudo on Rome Total War, here are as an example for you. There you go. Now remember this Testudo uh, formation that you're watching there was really used back in the day by the Romans, as you could see, great cover from any missiles. But as I say, a lot of archer uh, fighting still going on here. Um, there on both flanks and across the battlefield as well. You can see Earth here moving his infantry forward. As we know, Earth, very good tactical player, can be also very aggressive as well. We know Punisher can be a very attacking, aggressive player as well. So it wouldn't surprise me if the battle kind of kicked off on this particular flank between the two of them. Be interesting to see what happens here. Let's say you can see Earth there kind of setting his infantry up there to face Punisher's infantry. And you can see Earth moving his cavalry across. You can see that Punisher has already got his cavalry over here. Right, pause the game for a second here. As I say, um, you can see Earth got his cavalry in wide formation there. And that's because uh, when you attack archer units, if you've got your cavalry in wide formation, you cover more ground. You've got better chance of killing more archers there. You can see here that Punisher's got these couple of units here in wedge formation, which means that he's ready to attack there. Remember, in wedge formation, you get more penetration, more impact there. And that's why he's got those couple of units there ready to attack if necessary. I don't know whether um, he will charge them in at this stage of the battle or if he's just preparing them for the uh, for later on, maybe. There, he's pulling those cavalry units back now. You can see there's a big distance here between FF and um, Earth here. Can you see? I think FF's moving his army over towards Earth now, but there is a big gap between them. And as I say here, you can see F moving back and probably, I would think, over towards Earth there. But uh, as I say, using the full width of the battlefield, I would think it'd be very easy to get into a 1v1, if you see what I mean instead of teaming up with your teammate there. You can see the archers still shooting at each other there and targeting the rear or flank of any infantry uh, unit that they can see as well. It'll be interesting to see what happens on this flank, I think. 
Okay, at this stage of the battle here, you'll see Earth moving his infantry forward there. As I say, both Earth and Punisher can be very aggressive players here. And you can see Earth is uh, kind of looking like he's going to take the battle to Punisher here. See him moving his infantry across there, backed up by his fully upgraded cavalry. You see Punisher got one of his units in wedge formation there on the flank. It wouldn't surprise me if Earth chased that uh, unit away. There you go. Nice little move there by Earth, chasing that uh, cavalry unit away from his flank and then taking his cavalry possibly over to that flank there. Let's say you can see a Punisher now moving his infantry towards Earth's infantry there. Okay, so let's just pause the game for a second here. So as I say here, you'll see a Punisher moving his infantry forward, but he's kind of teamed up with Baldwin here. Can you see that both Punisher and Baldwin have joined up? And you can see Eth Eth is running to try and get over to Earth here. But as I say, Baldwin and Punisher have teamed up and they may well try and hit Earth quickly before Eth can get his infantry over there. My guess is that Eth has got his uh, cavalry already over there to help Earth. There, there you are. You can see Eth Eth has already got his cavalry there um, to help um, Earth if he needs it. But as you can see, um, Eth Eth running his infantry over as fast as he can to get to um, Earth there. Bit of pilot exchanging going on here between the two lots of infantry. Remember those pilots are effective against armor so they do a lot of damage. Remember really um, in pilot exchange and you should have your units in open order because remember on Rome Total War units in open order suffer less casualties from missiles there. You can see Earth looked like he was going to charge his infantry in and then decided to, to change his mind and pulled his um, infantry back. But say you got FF cavalry and Earth's cavalry there ready to uh, charge in if necessary. But you can also see that Baldwin and Punisher, Titans Baldwin and Punisher have teamed up as well. A little bit more pilot exchanging going on here. Almost point blank. Look at that, look. it's point blank straight into each other there. You can see Earth charging his SBQR unit into that uh, Brutio unit there of Punisher. Very aggressive move there by Earth. Looks like he's going to pull that unit back. Looks like Punisher's going to charge in a cavalry unit possibly to try and uh, cause a lot of casualties to the SBQR infantry line. and bang as he charges in and you'll see that Earth is counter-attacking with his cavalry unit there chased off Punisher's um, cavalry unit here but remember that both teams have got small amounts of infantry so the way they use their infantry should be very careful if they lose all their infantry and the, the enemy team have got still most of theirs that could be a problem can you see here where i think it's um baldwin is it has put his two archer units in polar shield there for polar shield there they've um shot all their arrows now so he's just using them as like kind of light infantry polar shield units there and you'll see that um the sbqr roman troops are throwing a lot of pilots into those um archer units there here you'll see earth and punisher fighting there you can see earth charging one of his cavalry units in there look, and bang and he smashes in there did you notice that cavalry unit has now been changed to wedge formation there for more impact more penetration more damage there when he actually attacks nice move there by earth you've got earth and fs cavalry there all ready to charge in here you can see the enemy cavalry charging oh my gosh that's routed two of Earth's infantry units there. As I say, when you've got a small amount of infantry, you need to be very careful on how you use it. Because um, obviously the smaller amount you've got, um, you know, if you do lose it, that could be a big advantage to the other team if they've still got their infantry there. So say in, in these CWB battles, I think, as I say, I haven't played them for many, many years, but uh, I think you've probably got to really look after your infantry here, maybe even more than 31k. Right, here you'll see them throwing in pilots there and charging in yet again. Very aggressive here by Earth. And it wouldn't surprise me if Punisher counter-attacked here. There, and if you notice there, that the way that Earth's um, units there stood, I reckon that Punisher's going to attack, and he has. There you are, you can see you throwing his infantry in there. It wouldn't surprise me if this could become quite a big cavalry and infantry battle here if uh, both teams decide to charge in cavalry. That could be um, 
could be quite a big thing there. Let's pause the game for a second here. So you've got all the enemy cavalry here, Baldwins and Punishers there, ready to charge in if need be. But then you've got Earth and FS cavalry also locked and loaded, ready to charge in from different angles as well there. So as I say, if they decide to charge all their cavalry in there, that could be a massive cavalry and infantry battle. And meanwhile, over on the other flank here, you'll see that Baldwin still got his archers with arrows, still shooting arrows into the um, SBQR um, archers and possibly moving SBQR infantry. And you see these couple of cavalry units here moving across from Baldwin, probably looking to take out FF's archers here. As you can see that uh, Brutio cavalry coming around the flank. Here you see Baldwin moving some of his infantry forward here to war uh, FS SBQR infantry. As I said, remember the um, Brotherhood team are the purple SBQRs and the Titans team are the green Brutii there. So just at a glance, you can see who is who here. But here you can see the Brutii cavalry charged into that to infantry of Earths there. So as I say, I think they must have their fingers on the trigger of their cavalry here, looking to charge them in. Looking at the, the, the positioning of both teams' cavalry here, it looks like, you know, you could see them almost charging in there, couldn't you? But here's a nice uh, cavalry hit here by Earth. Look, bang, is it? Now he's going to charge into that infantry. Look, I'm bang! A nice combination here. Do you see he uses cavalry from two separate angles there? Took out those two Brutii infantry. Nice a tactical, aggressive attacking move there by Earth. That was a really good double hit of cavalry on those um, infantry units there. So uh, that was a, I thought that was a good example there of hitting infantry units from the rear and the front. And you can now see that Earth is now advancing his infantry forward now towards the enemy cavalry. And I can see the Brutio general there. Can you see he's just been attacked by Earth's infantry? Earth would love to take out that Brutio general if he could take the general morale bonus away from him there. And there you are, you can see Earth charging his cavalry in there into the enemy infantry and cavalry. You can see FF bringing his cavalry over as well here. So it could turn out to be quite a big cavalry hit here. Look, and bang, and bang here. Do you notice that the cavalry are coming in from different angles here? Rather than have them in one group and, and hit as a punch, they're coming in from separate angles here. You see that nice move there by Earth and FF there. Punisher now, look, is moving his army back, his Brutio army back towards Baldwin there. So that was a nice, um, aggressive pushing move there. But here you can see the ca enemy cavalry charge, like a bang, is that charge in there? A infantry, a nice infantry and cavalry hit there by the Titans on Earth. A couple of infantry units there. Oh my gosh, that was a, a really big hit there. You can see the Earth lost two of his uh, SPQR infantry units there. And as I say, um, neither team started with much infantry anyway, so they need to look after their infantry. I think, actually, this might be Earth's only infantry unit left now. Okay, here you can see that FF uh, has charged his cavalry into these couple of Brutio infantry units there, trying to take them out with a hit there. But as I say, I think Earth has only got one infantry unit left now, and that is being aggressively attacked by both infantry and cavalry there. If that unit breaks, then that is all of Earth's infantry has now been taken out. And you can see cavalry there been all attacked using their heavy swords instead of their light lances there. That was good news, that infantry unit did hold there, but Earth, I, th I would suggest, might like to move that infantry unit back out the way towards um, his cavalry there because my guess is the enemy are going to attack again, which they've done again. And that cavalry unit's going to smash in there, like a bang, as it smashes in there. That one infantry unit of Earth still holding now. That's a pretty tough unit, oh my gosh. Okay, so I think that's bad news for the Brotherhood team there. I think that's all of Earth's infantry now has been taken out. Okay, so all of Earth's infantry has been taken out. He's still got his cavalry there in good order there. But, um, yeah, so that that probably... Um, I mean, I don't know whether that's going to be decisive in this battle. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. 
I don't think Punisher's got a lot of his infantry left, mind, but um, as I say, Earth, all of Earth's infantry has now been taken out, and they're gonna, the Brotherhood team's going to have to rely on F -F infantry now, and uh, both lots of cavalry um, there. So as I say, you can see F -F moving his infantry forward. Um, as I say, luckily Earth kept his uh, fully upgraded cavalry back, so he's still got his cavalry there. But as I say, I think Punisher's only got a couple of infantry units left himself. There you are, you can see FF moving forward, being very aggressive with his SBQR infantry. But I think Baldwin, I think he started with eight infantry, and I think he still might have eight infantry as well. So um, there might be a bit of pilot exchanging yet going on here between the two um, armies there. A lot of pilots going in there. causing a lot of damage to both teams. The forward units of both teams there will be suffering. You can see the enemy um, Brutio there putting their archers in the front as Polar Shield units. Nice move there. Let's say you've got Earth's cavalry there ready to charge in. Notice they're in wedge formation there. He's locked and loaded, ready to go. You'll see FS cavalry is in wedge formation as well. He's also locked and loaded and ready to go in there. There's still a lot of pilot exchanging going on here between um, Baldwin's infantry and FF infantry there as well. This is a very aggressive cavalry attack here by Punisher. Look, bang! Straight into FF infantry there. So that's a fully upgraded, okay, it was a battle damaged cavalry unit, but he just charged that straight into FF infantry there. Very, very aggressive attacking move there with that cavalry unit. Okay, that cavalry unit's been routed now. I wonder how many casualties that might have caused there on hitting FF's army. So there's a general overview of the battle as it stands at the moment. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the Brotherhood team copes with maybe a lack of infantry here. Um, as I say, I think the enemy team may well have more infantry than the Brotherhood team. Now that could prove decisive in this battle. We just have to uh, wait and see as the battle unfolds. Okay, at this stage of the battle here, you'll see um, that Earth is taking his cavalry around the flank here. Let's say we know Earth, a very good tactician on Rome Total War. Over here, as we said earlier, you can see that Titan's Baldwin's cavalry is like hoovering up um, FF's archers there. So it wouldn't surprise me if he got some good kills in this battle. And let's say you can see the Titans there have actually uh, merged their armies together. Oh my gosh, can you see the Brutio General in danger there? Let's just pause the game for a second here. Right, can you see here? I think it's Baldwin's general. Yeah, there you are. You can see, oh, is that Punisher's general? Sorry, I think that's Punisher's general there, isn't it? Um, I think there you can see that uh, the enemy cavalry, say, was hoovering up the archers there. But you can see here that um, FF spotted the Brutio general there and decided to charge in. There's the Brutio general right there. So, and you can see there that um, FF spotted that, looking to take out that Brutio General. Remember, you take out the generals, you take out the morale bonus that they're given there. So that was a nice um, surgical hit there by FF on the Brutio General. Routed that general now, and so the, the Titans team have now lost a general morale bonus. You'll see FF taking his infantry forward there. You can see the enemy charge their cavalry in there like a bang as they charge their cavalry into FF advancing infantry. So, um, as I say, there you can see there could be a bit of a cavalry battle over there on the other flank. I think it's that FF's infantry and the enemy Brutio, inf uh, ca sorry, cavalry, two lots of cavalry charging in there. You can see the green Brutio cavalry charging in. You can see um, the Brotherhood SBQR cavalry charging in there as well. Let's just pause the game for a second here. Now, this could maybe be the make or break of the battle here. Whoever wins um, this battle on this particular flank could um, win the battle, go on to win the battle, maybe. Nice tactical move here by Earth that took his cavalry around the flank of the enemy team and is now behind them. Now, he's got a choice of where he wants, whether he wants to take them over there and attack the enemy cavalry or maybe even smash into the rear of the enemy infantry there just to cause them casualties. He's got a choice there and you can see he's taking them over to the cavalry battle. I can see a couple of SBQR cavalry units have been routed. I can see more SBQR cavalry charging in there like a bang. And here comes Earth cavalry there. <coughs> Looks like he's gonna be blocked though. 
Okay, so there you can see the enemy general of Baldwin's there. Okay, now he's actually fighting there, and if he loses that general, both the t Titans generals will be lost. So watch that Brutio general there very closely. As I say, the make no mistake, the uh, Brotherhood team will be looking at that Brutio general very closely as well. Right, you can see the SPQR, more SPQR cavalry charging there. There's a Brutio infantry in there as well. Oh my gosh, but just watch that uh, Brutio General, the Cavalry General. Nice hit here by the Brutio General, brought Cavalry in behind the uh, Brotherhood SBQR um, Cavalry there. Oh my gosh. Right, so that's the Brutio General. The other Brutio General has just been taken out. And as we know, that's, so that's Baldwin's General has been taken out. And as we know, Punisher's general's been taken out. So the Titans team have now lost their two general morale bonuses there. Okay, so the Titans team have got no morale bonus at all now in their team. But if you notice here, both FF and Earth have still got their generals there as well. So they're getting good morale bonus from those generals to the SBQR troops there. Okay, now that can be, uh, that, this could be a decisive um, part of the battle now. As you can see, the Bruce Yoy, uh charging in there with infantry and cavalry, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, most of the Bruce Yoy cavalry has now been taken out. Um, and the Brotherhood team do have a cavalry advantage at this stage, I believe. I can't see, can you see any other Bruce Yoy cavalry around the battlefield? I think it's just infantry they've got at the moment. So if you notice here, both FF and um, Earth, very good tacticians here. And straight away, you'll see they're taking their cavalry round behind the enemy infantry. Okay, looking for a hammer and anvil attack. Hoping that S infantry will be the anvil and their cavalry will most definitely be the hammer there. So make no mistake there, the SBQR um, Brotherhood team will be looking to get their cavalry in behind that Brutio infantry um, with a view to a hammer and anvil attack. But it wouldn't surprise me if the Titans spotted that cavalry come round and uh, put, started to put countermeasures in place, which they've done. Can you see they have now put infantry to face the threat of that cavalry coming in behind them? So I say nice countermeasures there by the Titan um, generals. But you can see that the um, Brotherhood generals there have got their cavalry at different angles there, ready to come in from different uh, sides, different ways, as I say, from different angles there as well when they charge in. And you can see here, I think that's uh, FS cavalry charging in there, like a bang, as he smashes in there. Now remember, the tight, both the Titans generals have been taken out, so they've got no morale bonus there at all. Oh, say so, okay. They've got no morale there to try and keep their troops fighting longer. So, um, and as I say, with the cavalry advantage that the Brotherhood team have still got at this stage of the battle, um, that could prove possibly decisive here. You can see a couple of the Brutio units starting to rout, and you can see the Brotherhood team now charging their cavalry. Okay, one of the Titans has just admitted defeat there. Okay, both Titans have now admitted defeat. So, um, the uh, the Brotherhood team has managed to go on to um, to win the battle there. Um, it was quite um, quite a spread out battle as we saw earlier. The um, they used the entire width of the battlefield there. You'll see lots of dead archers all over the place um, on this battle. There's a bit of it looks like a bit of a cavalry and infantry uh, intense uh, fight in there by the uh, dead. Over here you'll see once again it's a cavalry battle here. But to make no mistake, there are archer dead all over this battlefield here because, let's say, both teams bought so many archers. There you go, look. You can see lines of uh, dead. There's a Brutioi dead and there's SBQR cavalry, uh, sorry, um, archers dead there as well. And as we get closer to the most intense part of the battle here, you can see that it was the most intense part of the battle by just the piles of dead that uh, they're there and I can't believe it some units have still got pilers left there I see I think um, some of FF units are still throwing pilers which is unusual at a latter stage of a battle for a unit still to have pilers left there so there you go there is a carpet of dead there so let's say it's only a 2v2 
um, 31k battle but played with maybe CWB tactics in this hybrid battle of the two codes merging together of uh, CWB and 31k here and I thought it's a great example of the codes merging maybe okay so the first thing I'd like to say is really well played to everybody in the game I've thought both teams played it really well so really well done there and as you can see it was a close victory um, well done to the Titans and well done to the Brotherhood team there uh, both teams played really well the highest kills goes to Brotherhood member Earth 1296 kills so well done to Earth but if you notice Titans Baldwin got over 1200 kills as well for the second highest kills and if you notice here you'll see that Punisher I believe has got the third highest kills so really well done to the Titans team there there you are if you look you'll see there you are so they got the second and third highest kills in the battle so well done to the Titans there really well played great to, great teamwork and uh, great battle there uh, say well done to Earth, highest kills in the game, and well done to Eth there. He played extremely well, great supporting player as always there. Just to say, I wanted to show this battle, um, this 2v2 battle, because I thought it was very unusual. It was definitely CWB armies, there was CWB tactics, but there was also 31k skirmishing. And remember, this battle was played at 31k, so I think it was a good example of how the codes are starting to merge, I believe. Okay, this is Spark Commander saying bye for now, and see you soon.